Carolina. Good morning, Miss Carolina. Good morning, Miss Carolina staff and students. Welcome to 2014. Everyone here at Battle Cry Broadcasting hopes you had an awesome Christmas. This week, the high school will spend two days in many apologetic conferences. The Museum of Truth will also be here. For more information for when your class will be visiting it, ask your teachers. Here's Emily and Mr. Callaway with a little bit more information about this two-day event. Okay. Take three. <laughs> what are apologetics? Apologetics are an opportunity to learn how to defend our faith through the truth of God's Word, to be able to take uh, truths from God's Word and also with archaeological and historical facts prove the existence of Jesus and the, the Bible is true. Okay, what is your vision for the week? My vision is that students will come out really with a, with a real understanding factually historically and archaeologically, that all this is true. It's not some fiction, it's not some fable, but it's true. <laughs> what activities will be going on during the week? Well, I'm excited. The Museum of Truth is going to be here, which is a museum that has over 300 artifacts that prove the existence of Jesus, that prove the, the reliability of his resurrection. I think that the museum and the artifacts will blow students away. What do students need to bring each day? Well, I think each day they need to make sure they bring a Bible, make sure they bring something to write with and something to write on because I think that the, the note taking and some of the things they're learning are going to be so different than what they've experienced before. And who else will be speaking? Well, that week we'll also have chapel that week, two days with Craig Tackett, a guy who's been here before, a great speaker. But beyond that, we're going to have different seminars each day. I'll be doing one that's been entitled uh, How to Think Christian in a Non-Christian Culture, which will look at worldviews and what other people believe and, and why the, the worldview of a Christian is so different and so unique. Mr. McDowell will be doing uh, a seminar on really proving the existence of Jesus as well. And then Mr. Risley will be doing some things in regards to science. Not that, they, not that science and the Bible contradict each other, but they complement each other. They actually work together to prove the truth and the existence of God. Thank you. Thank you. Those are your announcements for January 6, 2014. If any students would like to submit announcements for the Monday morning news, please see Ms. Ferguson in F1. Also, be sure to grab a copy of Battle Cry Newsletter found throughout the middle and high school areas. Have a great day, Metrolina. Here is Faith with your sports update. Good morning, Metrolina, and welcome to 2014. I've got your upcoming sports events for the week, so listen up. Middle school wrestling team has a match at the practice facility against Sun Valley today. Now tomorrow, January 7th, the boys varsity and JV basketball teams, along with the varsity girls basketball teams, have games here against Concord First Assembly beginning at 4 o'clock. Middle school boys and girls will play at Concord First Assembly. January 10th, this Friday night, the boys varsity, JV basketball teams, and the varsity girls basketball teams will play here against Westminster Catawba, and the games begin at 4. The boys and girls for middle school will play at Westminster Catawba. But don't forget, this Friday night, we're also representing the MCA alumni and their great accomplishments. Now some highlights for indoor track is we are halfway through the winter sports season, and each team is doing a great job at representing MCA. This is, this is the first year for indoor track led by Coach Honeycutt. They are having a great start to their season. Natasha Curry ran the 55 meter in 7.9 seconds, placing 7th out of 38 girls. Haley Haynes, Natasha, and Emily Erba, and Mark Suits all ran the 300 meter run and placed in the top half of the finishers. Emily Anzaldi ran the 1,000 meter race in 4 minutes, 3.1 seconds. Congratulations, runners, on your great accomplishments. Three of our boy throwers placed in the set top seven. Billy Edwards led the way with a third place finish and PR'd with 35 feet, 8 inches. In the 1600 meter run, Nathan Singleton, Ethan Cesarski, Brandon Myers, Christian Bezik, Josh Jackson, and Austin Hall ran their personal best. Now some middle school boys basketball highlights is they're off to a great season this year, and as of December 16th, they are 6-3. and three. They've already won more games this year than they did all season last year. This is a great accomplishment and we look forward to seeing more. Josh Schwartz is averaging close to 17 points a game, followed by Tyler Nelson, Tate Johnson, who are both averaging 12 points a game. Great job to our middle school boys and the other teams representing MCA. That's your sports updates for this week. Now listen up for your weekly Warrior Devotion.